So I searched Google high and low for holiday movies to watch for this advent and I came up with a list of 24 movies to watch between December 1st and December 24th and these are all of my movies and some of them might be a bit controversial but I think it's going to be so much fun to pick a movie every night until Christmas to watch and knit along with. So these are the movies I have found and I'll leave a list in the um, details below. But um, yeah, I think this will be fun. I'm going to put them in a jar, fold it up, um, put them in a jar and just pick them at random throughout the holiday, the um, month of December, and watch all of these different Christmas movies. There is one exception. There's one movie that is marked in here. Let's see if I can find it. This one is marked 1224 because it is a Christmas story. And it has been a holiday tradition for my family to watch the Christmas story on Christmas Eve um, and have uh, takeout. And so that is always done on Christmas Eve. So I will draw these along with my advent and I hope you'll join me in watching the Christmas movies. So I took this a step further and I marked the ones that are very children oriented with a heart because we do have the grandkids a lot and we want to make sure that we're watching a movie that they would like to watch as well. So the Little Pink Hearts are kids movie, which honestly there's a lot of kids movies there. Um, the Green Seas are classic movies. So these are things like Shop Around the Corner, White Christmas, um, things like that that are very classic old movies. Um, the ones that don't have anything on them are sort of, they really weren't categorized anywhere. They're for all audiences, but I don't think the kids would really enjoy these. So those are just kind of everyday. Um, and then the blue ones are romantic comedies. My husband is not a huge fan of rom-coms, but if I show him that there's only four in there, I might be able to entice him to watch <laughs> a couple with me. And then of course there is our um, staple night before Christmas movie, The Christmas Story. So there they are in their jar. We'll give them a swirl and a shake before we, um, before we decide on which one, before we draw one. And there they are ready for Christmas. So I have done my cast on and first row um, for the quest wrap. I'm doing the wrap instead of the scarf. And um, with Dylan's help this morning, I have determined that I am a druid. So I am preparing to roll for my first battle. It's not really a battle, but it's um, an obstacle. So I'm rolling to see if I overcome the obstacle. As a druid, I need to get a seven. So, um, must roll the number or higher. So it has to be seven or higher to win. And I rolled a six. Oh no, I lose. So that means I have to go to page 16 instead of 15. But I get to go on to the next part of the pattern. I'm so excited to see what this is going to become. So Miss Dylan is here with me today because she is not feeling well and Mama had to work. So she is camping in Grandpa's chair and watching telly. And Dylan is going to help me pick the Christmas movie that I'm going to watch tonight. <sighs> so reach in, give him a good stir, stir him around really good. And pick one out for us. The one with the red. 
Oh, and it's a red heart. Okay. Oh, it's hard to open. I can't open it. Can you open it? Can you get it? No, I need your help. Nana's used uh, some pretty good tape. What is it? It's the Polar Express. We're going to watch the Polar Express tonight. That'll be fun. I like that movie. Yay. Maybe we should have some hot cocoa tonight, too. Maybe she'll open it tonight and write back to you. She only bye flies bye. at night, so. Bye bye, Gary. Bye bye, Christy. Maybe Gary. she checks her mailbox when she gets home. Maybe. Bye bye, Gary. Bye. Hi, welcome back. My name is Judith. I am one half of the Nutty Nitty Sisters. Together with my sister Julie, we create videos showcasing our love of all things fibery and occasionally go on yarny adventures when the weather in Maine permits. If you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm having so much fun creating some Vlogmas videos and I've got some great things in store for the rest of the month if my energy can hold up. Um, today, as always, um, monkey wrenches are thrown into life and today was not exactly what I expected, but we made the best of it. Uh, my granddaughter Dylan was feeling under the, under the weather and was not able to go to school, so she came over and stayed the day with me. I work from home. Um, she's very low maintenance, so she just kind of crawled in a, a comfy chair in the living room and watched telly while I worked. Um, and we hung out on my breaks and lunch, so that was fun. Um, one of the things I always do is I um, have a different coffee mug in the intro every day. Today's coffee mug was um, a Christmas story. And I don't think I showed in the intro, but um, it also has um, the leg lamp on the other side of the cup. It's a major award for Chile. It must be Italian. Um, so that is my that was my mug of choice for the day. Um, not all of them are Christmassy, but I will share little bits of stories um, for my mugs. Um, this mug was given to my husband um, as a gift for Christmas. For a long time, we gave him at least one Christmas story themed gift for Christmas, including a full adult sized um, pink bunny pajama suit um, and lots of other things. So uh, this was my mug th this morning. Um, I have water in it tonight. I am feeling a little dehydrated, so um, just good clean water today. 
And uh, that's the mug of the day. I love watching Vlogmas. I think I have already subscribed to seven or eight new channels. I think it is great. I love kind of getting a glimpse in other people's lives and there's just so much creativity and great content out there. So when someone subscribes to our channel, I definitely want to acknowledge it. So um, hugs and mug or mugs and hugs, <laughs> I'm going to call it. So you've seen my mug. Let's give some hugs. We did get some new subscribers recently. So I want to give a shout out to Mirella. And if I butcher these names, I'm so sorry. Um, Mirella Verhul, Joe Wood, Re Hector, Adele Humphreys, Mara Bucca and Cheryl to knit. So thank you for subscribing. Uh, definitely appreciate it. I hope you enjoy what you see. Um, I hope you'll um, talk to us in the comments. Uh, we do really enjoy um, interacting when we when we have the, the chance. So if you've joined recently tonight, I haven't checked the um, subscriber list um, in a couple of hours, so I will definitely get you tomorrow. Um, we did our advent opening today. Um, so the color that was in a yarn to die for designs, um, is the dyer that I, um, bought a yarn kit from this year. And, um, the first, one of the first things that she, um, had us open, um, was this lovely bag. So I'm using that as my project bag. Um, and the yarn that was in, um, the advent for this, um, for today, for the first day, was Once Upon a Time, and it's a very, very pretty kind of grayish blue. It's got very pale purple, um, kind of lavender purple tones to it, and <clears throat> I did have a chance to finish my first part of, um, my first part of the Advent, um, knit that I'm doing. The knit that I'm doing is, um, oh, it's right here. The project rather that I'm doing is called The Quest by A Rye Flower Adventure. <clears throat> and, um, it's kind of, um, role play based. Um, you have to pick a character and then you roll each day, you read a little story and you roll each day to determine which page is the next um, page in your in your quest for a magnificent treasure. Today um, we chose, Dylan helped me choose that I'm a druid and I lost my first challenge. Um, so I, that's um, the, the pattern that I knit was the loss pattern for the day. Um, the next, the next part of the pattern will be determined on the story and the, the dice roll tomorrow. There is a section after this that is, they call it like a travel section, which is brioche. And I'm not, I've only done a few brioche patterns, so I'm not sure how it's going to go, but you need the next, um, the next color. You need to open the next color in order to do the brioche. So, um, that will have to wait until tomorrow. Um, thankfully I do have tomorrow off. I have an appointment in Belfast. So, um, I do have the day off and I might be able to get some of that done. Um, so that is my Advent knitting progress. I do have some other things on the needles. Um, I'm still working on some knit vent prog uh, um, projects. I still have the um, anthology throw, which uh, I'm, I won't go get right now. It's getting quite huge, but um, I've got quite a bit left on that. And then this is the forage shawl. And that is my progress so far on that. I've got about um, 20 more rows, I think, to go on it. Um, and that will be done. It's um, coming out a little bit smaller than I expected. Um, but it does have a lot of lace and a lot of yarn overs. So I think it's going to block a lot bigger than it looks um, unblocked. So um, where I have finished my Advent knitting, I will work on that tonight. Um, tonight was, um, movie night. <clears throat> so you might have seen in the video, um, Dylan pulled, uh, from a bunch of movies that I put together that I'd like to watch one movie each day, uh, each evening until Christmas. And we pulled the Polar Express. Um, 
Dylan was not going to be here this evening to watch it with me. And when I advised her of that, <laughs> her little face just fell. And um, so I decided I get out of work quite early. And I decided in the, in the couple of hours that we had left until her mother came to pick her up, that um, we would go ahead and watch the Polar Express. So we drew all of the blinds and made it very dark in the living room. Um, Dylan came in here and pulled all the pillows off of um, off of the bed and laid out a little snuggle spot for us. And we snuggled and had hot cocoa and watched the Polar Express. And she was absolutely enthralled with that movie. Um, it was just so cool to see her so engaged and just really, um, really enjoyed. It's a, it's such a cute, beautiful movie. Um, very well done animation. The, um, the music, um, the, the message is just, um, is really cool. So, uh, she really, really, really liked it. And I, I really enjoyed watching it with her and, uh, knitting on my project. So we had a really good time. Um, so I will leave a list down in the description box of all of the movies that I've included in my little, um, movie advent. Um, the additional advent that I opened this morning was one that my sister created for me, Julie. We made each other advents out of our, um, scraps and our stash, um, <clears throat> uh, DK weight. Um, I've not done a DK weight advent project. Um, so I'm not really sure what to expect. I haven't done enough research to decide on a project yet. So, um, I'm just going to open that and enjoy the yarn and come up with something, um, after to use it for, um, tomorrow, because I do have the day off and I have an appointment in, um, Belfast, I am going to, um, do some thrift shopping. Um, I haven't been to the thrift store in several months. Um, I haven't been much of anywhere since I had some heart trouble in September. Um, so I'm going to, I'm looking forward to going and doing some thrift store, thrift store shopping. Um, I don't really have, I have one thing specifically that I want to look for in the thrift store. Um, I'd like to give as gifts to my family this year. Um, we used to do goodie trays with like, um, uh, you know, sweets and candies and cookies and, you know, all the, the yummy, um, treats of the season. Um, I, because I'm diabetic, I can't really do a lot of sweets and treats, but I think, um, I think I can come up with some recipes that are fairly healthy <laughs> cookie recipes. Um, and what I'd like to do is actually make some cookies that are kind of sturdy and the kind of cookies that you would put in the post to your family. So, um, things that will hold up in a, a mail package. Um, so what I'd like to do at the thrift store tomorrow is try to find some of those cookie tins, um, and maybe find some that are a little festive, um, and just kind of see what I can, I can poke around and find in the thrift store in the, in the shape of, um, you know, a cookie tin to put my different cookies in for my family. Um, honestly, I gave a bunch to the thrift store, uh, this summer, so I may be buying back some of my own tins. That would be a hoot. Um, <laughs> but I'll take you along with as much as I'm able. I try to be respectful when I'm in the store, um, and not, um, record too much of, you know, other people and, and their, you know, privacy and whatnot. Um, but I'll take you along and show you some of the merchandise and, um, then I'll come back home and show you a haul video. Um, so that is about it for today. Um, my daughter is playing, um, a Zelda game on the switch that her and my husband have, um, have been collaborating on <laughs> and have been completely and utterly addicted to playing together. So I'm going to go out and join them and work on my forage shawl and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye.